Hi, Gemini. It's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and get into it, Gemini. Thank you, God, for blessing Gemini with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so let's start with uh, love and romance, Gemini. Love and romance for Gemini. Love and romance for Gemini. Okay, these two cards want to come out. The Six of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. Some of you have to give to several different parties. Um, especially if you have more than one, um, like, child's mother or something like that. You got to pay out. Somebody took your generosity, your um, your good nature, your goodwill for granted. They took you for granted. Somebody is taking you for granted. Maybe only giving you a bit of attention and communication. They they leave you either waiting for or vice versa. This is what you're doing. Somebody just feels like the relationship is very, for them, it's very uh, karmic. There's a lesson to learn. They want to let it go. You know, it, they feel like they were doing all. This is when somebody feels like they're doing all the work within a connection. Also, again, being taken for granted. Somebody was just on autopilot showing up for the connection and not knowing where it was going. Had no real intentions. You know, five of cups. And now it's like somebody's in a place of resentment, regret, remorse. Maybe even letting the relationship go. There could be a breakup. Somebody could have left. Someone's missing the other. Or it's both of you missing one another. It says the relationship is recoverable, recoverable, but you, you just don't know how to get back to this person. It says you need to build that bridge. The both of you need to be working on building the bridge back to one another. So if one is apologizing, the other needs to be apologizing. If one is taking action, the other needs to be taking action. So that's the only way that is going to work. Somebody also had a lot of options, okay? Um, somebody made the other person the scapegoat. Somebody was just giving just enough here and not and so kept the other person hanging on to hope. Now there might be an energy of maybe ghosting or leaving. Yeah. Uh, with the moon card and the king of wands. Somebody desires to be with you, maybe physically. Somebody, you know, in this absence of, you know, not being together, somebody realizes that maybe all of a sudden somebody has a rush of emotions or a sudden upheaval and they get absolute clarity because there's no distraction that maybe somebody, they get clarity about somebody's worth or clarity about, you know, a feminine energy, about how abundant, beautiful, smart, caring this person really is. And maybe they took advantage of the relationship. So if there's separation here, um, you know, eventually somebody will, they will see that, um, they'll see your worth, especially if you're expecting somebody to reach out to you with the moon card and the king of wands. It talks about maybe lying to yourself or somebody lying to themselves or maybe even lying to other people, holding something back, something, doing something in the dark. So this would be like, um, dark desires or dark fantasy. Somebody could be ashamed of their fantasy or, or what they really want. Again, lying to themselves. There could be a, a state of delusion. Somebody could feel as if the other person is bipolar or they have levels of mania where they go up and down. Yeah, all of a sudden there's an outburst. Mm -hmm. So, whoa, those cards fell onto the floor. All right, so let's see what's going on in career and finance. Everybody's getting the three of wands. Very nice. Everybody's looking towards their future, you know, having that vision of what they want their career and their finances to look like. 
uh, five of pentacles maybe even get out of, of a level of just having enough or not having enough here um yeah by way of magic or manifestation or the manifestation power of um bringing in um i heard new blood you know bring in new uh, new energy, uh, newness with the magician it talks about channeling too. So some of you are, you know, channeling messages from the divine. Some of you are trying to manifest newness, taking the power, in, you know, in your own hands, making it happen, speaking those words. The ma magician governs, uh, you know, language. So you're, you're saying maybe those positive affirmations, this this could be interpreted as the sun or the moon. Maybe you are doing some new moon manifestation here. Yeah, you got the high priestess showing up. Um, you and somebody else are like, um, you know, counterparts in the spiritual realm. It is about making it real here in the 3D. Yeah. It's like you guys don't work well together. Somebody has kept you as like the other option or vice versa. This is what you're doing. They kept kept you as they haven't really given you the title. They, they've kept you doing the work, showing up to the connection, showing up to the relationship while maybe they had other options. Maybe kept, they kept you keeping the relationship alive, you know. Um, also, there could be a level of maybe you being with somebody in a committed relationship, but you guys haven't married. People could be looking at that, you know, as when is the relationship going to progress? You haven't. Yeah, this would be marriage and later in life. You haven't like made it real, made it official. That's how, you know, some people could be looking at it. And that's how maybe you could be looking at it also or someone else is. This is what I have for you, Gemini. I hope that it resonates for you. If it resonates for you, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. You can also go over to the website, book a reading there, ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can come for the collective reading, ask a question or two, um, and that will be tonight. Also, the new moon is tonight, okay? And you can contribute to the new moon money jar as you're trying to bring in more money into your life, abundance in your finances, in your career. If you're trying to make those uh, wishes come true, those manifestations real, then you can donate any amount um, and your your name will be uh, placed in the money, the new moon money jar and a new moon uh, money prayer will be held for all of us to collectively bring in abundance okay and the prayer will uh, happen uh for the next three nights so contribute if you uh are feeling moved to do so thank you guys many blessings to you take care